Hey everybody and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby and in this lecture we're going to learn about sets and tuples. So sets are similar to lists but they are unordered and cannot contain duplications and they also use curly brackets instead of normal brackets. So let's start by saying my set equals curly brackets one two three four five one, two. Now let's print my set. I'm going to save the file and then right click run sets and tuples. And immediately we can see that we get one, two, three, four, five as the response. And if we look at my set, it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two. What the heck is up with that? Well, Sets are not allowed to contain duplications of the same value, and they're not ordered, which we'll get to in a second, but they are not allowed to have duplications, and Python will not allow it to have duplications. So even though an extra one and two is added at the end, it doesn't matter because sets are only going to contain unique values. And if we say print length my set, it won't include the duplications in the length of the actual set as well. As you can see, when we print the length of my set, we get five as the response. Even though there really are seven elements in the set, there's only five unique elements. Now we can also print all the elements from a set by looping through it by saying for x in my set print x. One thing to note is that we have not covered loops yet, and we'll be covering loops in a later section. I just wanted to show you how we can also show all the information in sets and tuples using loops. If we save and run this application, we can see that after we get the length, we just loop through and print all the elements of the set. Now one super unique area of sets that are sometimes hard to grasp is that it's completely unordered in memory. So Python does not actually contain the order of these numbers. Even though it looks like in our set, it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two. In Python, these numbers could be in any location of memory. So therefore we cannot actually print out by index. So if we do print my set at the zero index, we get an error. And we run the application. We can see we get an error because we are not allowed to find exactly what's at that element because Python's gonna do the quickest thing possible to get us the information we need. Now to remove an element from a set, we can discard it. So we can say my set dot discard three If we run this application, we can see that the three element or the element with the value of three was deleted. We can say my set dot clear. Which will remove all elements from the set. We can add an element back by using the add functionality. So my set dot add six. We can also add more than one element to a set at one time by using the update functionality. So my set dot update adds two elements at the end of my set. Now this wraps up sets, but however, there are also something called a tuple. So I'm just going to comment all of this out for the time being. And what a tuple is, is a tuple are ordered just like lists, but they're unchangeable. So we can call a list by using a normal bracket a set by using curly brackets, and we can call tuples 
by using parentheses. If we save the file and run, we can see that we just get the tuple return, just like we would a list or a set. We can find out the length of a tuple by doing the length functionality. which is going to return five as there's five elements within the tuple. And we can come in here and call a specific index of a tuple by calling the one index, which is the value of two. However, if we come in here and try and add any kind of functionality to tuple, the functionality does not exist because you are unable to add or update any information within a tuple. Nor can we say at the first index, we want it to now be equal to 100. This will cause an error because tuple object does not support item assignment. Now, sets and tuples are used in typically unique instances. Sets are typically used when we want really fast organization or we want to remove duplications from a list. Tuples are used often when you don't want data to be changed within a list as they are unchangeable. Lists are definitely the most used out of the three most common data structures. This wraps up the lecture on sets and tuples and I will see you in the next video.